I'm Claire and this is Elton and we are UK Barn Finds. We bought a 1954 Austin A30 at auction which had been laid up in a barn since 1971. In our last episode we attempted to get her started but failed due to no compression in the engine. We've read your comments and we've taken them all on board and now we're raring to have another go. Can we get this car to run for the first time in 52 years? Let's find out. <laughs> so we've decided to come up to the workshop today and what are we doing? We've decided. <laughs> okay, I decided that today we were going to come up the workshop. We've been a bit motivated by the comments on the A30 video, haven't we? We have. So, we're going to, because how did we end up, I don't know, because you do all the editing and everything, Claire. <laughs> did we show where we moved it back to the other barn? No, we didn't, because okay. we were feeling quite deflated, weren't we? And we thought, right, OK, we're going to have to just mothball that for a while whilst we have a think. Yes, so obviously it's not running, so we pushed it down to the other barn. And um, the idea was we'll leave it for a couple of weeks because we have lots of other stuff to be getting on with, not just YouTube. And we'd leave it there for a couple of weeks, then we'd come back and have another go. But we thought today we might as well have a go, but before we do... I don't want to do it outside. I know it's under a barn, but it's freezing. It's 30th of November. It was about minus eight in some places in the country last night. Um, so we're going to just clear a couple of cars out of the workshop and then we'll go and get the green one up here, which means that I've got to push you in it here. <laughs> oh, God. And hopefully for the last time. Are you ready? I am. Hang on, I'm trying... Stall tactics, I've got an idea. Oh, come on then, what? I want to show you something. Oh, come on then. That ended badly once, didn't it? It did. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go in the other workshop. Okay. Uh-huh, right. So what we're looking at, this is a later A-series engine. Remember I bought this months and months ago? Yeah, I do. And even I questioned my own sanity then, but I thought it might come in handy for this. So what we're being told is the exhaust valves potentially are stuck. And if you look here, you can see all the valves here, look, inside there. So we're going to go get the other car and see if we can try and free up these on the other engine, all right? So yeah. for my own um, benefit, I thought I'd have a look because I haven't, I said it in the other video, although some people didn't pick up on that. This isn't something I've done. I'm a hobby mechanic. I'm used to replacing things like starter motors and alternators and fan belts and doing services and stuff, but I've never properly got involved with the internals of an engine. So this is all a bit new to me. Um, but yeah, it's all fun, isn't it? Certainly is. So let's just take two, is it? Yes. Right. I'm not going to get out of pushing you this time, am I? <laughs> no. <laughs> Look at that ice. Oh, can I just stall for a bit more time and show you something? Yeah, go Again. on. Again. <laughs> Let me well, go around the other side. You stay here. So I can do a big reveal, because they love a big reveal on YouTube, don't they? If you follow our community posts on YouTube, you'll have seen this already. They're sort of just picture posts. But, I don't know if you recognise that, Claire. Looks a bit different to last time everyone else saw oh it. Oh my word, is that the starter? That's, that's the, the original starter, starter motor. Original I don't know if you'll pick up on that. That's but that says 4253 there. Yeah. You might have to get a photo. So that's October sometime, 1953 was when that was made. Wow, okay. Had that rebuilt by Nacton Auto Electrics in Ipswich. Great guys, absolutely brilliant. Helped me out with an alternator on another vehicle of ours as well. Um, I'm not going to bother putting that on today because if I can avoid crawling under a car today, I will. <laughs> and we don't need it for today. We've still got the eBay one on there, which yeah. was doing all right the other day, to be honest, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. After the first one didn't. No. <laughs> This is already heavier. 
<laughs> I might need to get you in there in a minute just to do a bit of steerage clear. Okay, see how we get on. Oh, right, cheers. Well, you're doing so Am well Am I clear there. on the um, 2CV, love? Yeah, you're right at the minute. What if I go straight now? Yeah, if you go straight now. Uh, would you like me to get the door for you, madam? Yes, please, sir. Look at this, uh, <laughs> see, practice for the limo. <laughs> Don't talk to me about that bloody limo. You loved it in there. Oh. I took Claire shopping in the limo, didn't I, love? You did. Right, you're going to have to leave the door a little bit open so you can hear me. OK. Um, I know you're not the greatest fan of, fan of reversing, but we're probably yeah. best to go backwards. OK, what, all right. the way up? Yep. Oh. Right, bit of right hand down. That's it. Little bit of right. Yeah. That's it. That'll do it straight. Well done. You don't need to do anything that'll stop on its own. Alright. So all I'm gonna do is take the rocker cover off, Claire, alright? Okay. On our last video, it was my fault. I said to Claire after she'd already edited it all, but just before she uploaded it, I said, I just took a video of the rocker gear moving. Can you whack it on the end? And I put this little six second clip of what was happening, which wasn't a lot, but there was some. Um, but obviously I'd already said goodbye and everything. And we'd said goodbye by then. So a lot of people didn't see it and sort of commented without seeing it. <laughs> And that showed um, what was happening under here when we were turning the engine over. I don't want to do it too much because it's not good for it. We've done enough of that last time. But we know that something's stuck. Yeah, it should come off easy this time because it's been off once. There we go, folks. I could do with a little bit of a narrower hammer, but you wanted to do the hammer finny, didn't you? Well, let's explain what the hammer thingy is. Well, apparently, if we knew that these, I think these two were moving, weren't they? I think so, if I remember yeah. rightly. And if I hit them, shall I hold my mic down there and see yeah. if that helps? Um, you can hear, it, you can feel it through the hammer shaft. There's a little bit of a rather than a. If I do it on this one, I've got a feeling this one, that spring looks like really locked down. Ready? Yeah. That's just solid, isn't it? Like hitting solid a, sound. It's like hitting that. Yeah. See? No difference? Yeah. So I'm hitting like a solid bolt there, which is what... So if I do that here, there's a solid bolt. And then that. You can hear it, can't you? There's a... Yeah. So I think pretty much <laughs> everyone bar these two are locked. So we'll see what we can do. Next plan of action, Claire. I'm just going to turn it over by hand. Yeah. Just um, that will show what we showed on the other video. I've just been tapping around and I'll give you my thoughts in a minute. So, I see a couple of them there. I seem to be doing like this is what they should all be doing. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I've had a tap. We did that tap earlier on, so we know they're stuck. One of them did move down, but isn't springing up. And I don't want to hit that down any further because that's probably about as far as that can go. Yeah. You see that there? Yeah. Without me there. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to clear as much of the oil out of this as I can, so I'm, you're going to have to get out of the way in a moment. Yep, okay. And then I'm just going to put some, I've got some penetrant fluid, I've got some left in there, an old WD-40, some people use plus gas, this is all I've got in the workshop at the moment, so we'll use this. I'm going to soak them, and we're going to do something else for now, alright? Okay, sure. Alright, because... Yep. Um, I know it'd be funny if I just squirt it, it's not magic, this stuff. It does a good job, but it's, it's not sorcery. And then reading a comment that you were just reading out loud to me. Yes. I'm going to come back and I'm going to soak them again. Yeah. This isn't, this has sat for 52 years. We've got plenty of other stuff to be getting on with, so yeah. um, we'll do that. So I'm, I'm going to blast this with a bit of air to try and get some of this 
oil out of the way. I don't know why, I just I feel that if this can attach as best as it can to what we've got there, it might stand a better chance. It's well lubricated because we oiled the engine. It's obviously the oil pump's working because it's all up the top here. Oh, sweetheart. Yes. You know, I said I was going to leave it now. Yeah. And it's been 18 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> it's as long as you right. can bloody yeah. wait, isn't it? That one that was right compressed down, the one that I was banging earlier. Yes. Notice anything different? It's up. It just, I just gave it a little gentle pry like that, and I was just going all the way around, and it suddenly went <laughs> dying. I don't know if that will now move. Shall I try and crank it yeah. on the handle and see what happens? So it's stuck back down, but it's a lot freer than it was, isn't it? Yes. So I should be able to, let me just check. And that should be free. It'll be like a sticky one now, won't it? Yeah. But that just flew up a minute ago. It literally, we saw it, it was right at the top. Oh, we Kev, I don't want to score any anything in here, but. God, oh, not going to do it now, look. There, yeah, see that? Yeah. <laughs> I got a face full of it again, but if I keep doing that, and if they all did that, it'd be lovely, wouldn't it? It would. So I'll leave that there for now. Give it a good old square. You can see all the rust on there. It's hardly surprising that they're stuck. But, um, I need to try that. Try it on all of them like this. You see, but just I'll try not to sort of force it in one area too much. Uh, sort of basically, what I'm going to do really is I'll um, I'll keep doing that a little bit. On all of them, you don't need to film everything because I could be here all day doing this. I'll, I'll, I'll let it soak this time. Bye, Mr. Drone. The following day. Day two, or about day 22. Um, yesterday we had a bit of success, didn't we? We did. And I came in here last night. You notice I always disappear when you come in with the kids, don't yeah, I? Yeah, you do tend to disappear <laughs> when I come in with the kids. So yeah. I went out and I got some more WD-40 and some other penetrant oil from JR. Yeah. They didn't have a compression tester. Oh. So I went to Euro Car Parts. Yeah. Who also didn't have a compression tester. Oh. So hopefully we've got one coming online today. I've got a Gunson one coming because I thought they're a name I recognise and trust. So hopefully that'll be all right. So that'll come later. But I soaked these. I was playing around with these all last yesterday. And, and I soaked them a bit last night. We should have a bit more success. So in the original video, these two were moving. And what's happened is I freed up another four, some of them properly. Some of them um, are still sticking a bit. The ones that were still sticking, this one will still stick. And this one was still sticking. Um, yeah, I'll just turn it over anyway, Claire, and you can have a look. Yeah. But hopefully, if, with a little bit more sort of movement, mm. and we may be able to start trying to fire it up. The two that I'm stuck with at the moment are here and here. I just can't get those to budge yet, but that's... Um, that's kind of on the radar now so look i'll just show you turning the engine over so you see that one's stuck down now i have just noticed this one is coming back up there yeah all right so we're getting there we've got a number of them so i'll just free off the ones that are stuck down um let me just get that around to a better position for that one yeah, that one and that one. That's come up, but that's not come all the way up. Might need a bit of a, it's still a little bit stuck. But yeah, I'll try and um, loosen those off and then work on those two really tough ones. Mm. So you want to have a look down the bores, don't you? Yeah, I thought it might be a nice idea to use our, what's that bit of equipment used again? Elton. 
<laughs> the bore scope. Bore scope. There I've we go. Had that thing years. Hmm. Went to use it the other week, and all the, the batteries are corroded. Oh. But I managed to, I think, fix it. So, okay. and hopefully, if it works, hmm. I'm not promising anything. Um, you'll be able to see the pistons going up and down, so I can just turn the starting uh, handle, starting handle, nice and gently. Yep. Um, and then we'll. Uh, what are you expecting to see down there? A lot of corrosion, and I don't know. To be honest, I did look down there when we first did it. Right. Um, I don't really know what I'm looking for. I just saw the tops of the pistons. But what I didn't do at the time was turn the engine over with it in there because I was on my own and didn't even think about it, to be honest. Yeah. But we know the pistons were, at least, moving up and down because when we freed the engine up, do you remember all the fluid yeah, spurting squirting out? out so yeah. Um, they should be moving up and down. Right, let's go and find the bore scope, which I put over here somewhere. Look at that top of that piston, it looks like the moon, Claire. That's, it does. It doesn't look great, does it? Not really. And if we were doing a proper job, we'd probably strip that engine down first. But can you concentrate on that picture there? Yeah. I'm just going to turn the car over. I can't see now. Is oh, any, I can see it moving. moving. Yeah, oh, right, it's cool. going up and down. This is the benefit of you filming, because now I can have a look on the yeah. car. Yeah. Normally, I'd have the bore scope over near me, obviously. Right, so we know that one went up and down, did it? It did. Right, I'm going to do all... Four. Yeah. Right, that one's right down. Ready? Yeah. I want to see as well now. Yeah. Is it moving? It is. It's Good. going down and up. All right. I'll try the third one. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, awesome. And last but not least. Can you see it or not? Yeah, I can. Good. Yeah, lovely. Cool. Well, you're going to have to stop filming now because I want to have a look at that. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Just going to try a bit of heat. Don't know, if, whilst you're there, if you look as well, I don't know all the yeah. different component parts of all the valves and the springs and all that, the proper names, but you notice this one's got a black top. Oh, yeah. I reckon that's been replaced at some point. Yeah, it could well be. So even though that's a gold seal engine, it's probably still had some work. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, we'll just try and get a bit of heat in there. We're trying anything at the moment, aren't we? We are. Two days later. Monday. And these have been soaking in ATF over the weekend. I had to resist the temptation <laughs> yeah. not to touch it. So. Yeah, I know. It was terrible. Honestly, mm. everyone, I had to say to Elton to ban him from the workshop. Yeah. So do you know how I did that, Claire? How's that? You know how I resisted it? How did you resist? I worked on one of my own, because this is a YouTube car. <laughs> <laughs> I worked on my own Mini. Yes, that's given, let's have a quick look at her. So and, um, Muck 18P. Yep, I am um, old Mucky Pup. Mucky Pupster. Needed a new clutch cylinder. And, oh, they're really simple. You just take the pipe off, take the two bolts out and pop the pin out. Yeah, you didn't yeah. tell me it was that simple. <laughs> no, because anyone who's ever done one will tell you that's been in there for donkey's years, that's been leaking for years. The clever's been as well rusted in. And you could probably hear my shout from the bungalow when I got that <laughs> out. Anyway, let's have a look at this, because I'm keen to have a look now. We know that a couple of them are sticky. It's this one, though, we're having a real job with, and that doesn't look to have fixed itself over the weekend. Okay. So I'll try and see if it'll pop up at all. I'm wondering if that's bent in there, you know. That's my only other worry. I'll give it a little lever, give it a tap down. <sighs> All right. I'll have to try and tap it down a bit. That's how we freed the others. They were down first before they came up, weren't they? They were. So, excuse me, please. I need to come to the side. You're out now. Oh, OK. <laughs> because I'm Dancing around the A30. Mm. It would be in an awkward place like that, wouldn't it, as well? Oh, yeah, I mean, pipe. I could take the pipe off and do all that, but where's the fun in that? <laughs> did that move? I think it did. I think that has moved, Claire. Yeah. That, I could get that screwdriver in there quite easily before. Okay. So, if it's gone down... <laughs> There's a theory. Yeah, that in reverse well... of gravity, what goes down <laughs> must come up. <laughs> I'm trying to get in between the coils of the spring there because I don't want to start scouring everything up. Oh, I can't even get in there now. So that has 100% gone down. Just try and get that in there a bit. 
So the trouble is that isn't a very strong screw screwdriver. Right. So I don't really want to do that. Because after all this work, if it was to um, jam in there, you know, if we were to break something and lose a bit of metal down there now, it'd be really yeah. sad, wouldn't it? It would be really sad. So um, we've done all right so far for a pair of amateurs. <laughs> yeah, very much so, well, pair of amateurs. Um, but we're well, learning all the time, aren't we? Yeah. The beauty of doing stuff like this, this yeah. tinkering. And we're learning because the people who are commenting... We are literally reading it all. Yeah. You know, even if we can't get back to everyone, because we've had such a busy weekend. Um, we've got back to a few, but um, it's been a really busy weekend with it family has. stuff. And I was off at the racing Saturday night, watching the UK Barn Finds historic stock cars doing their thing at Ipswich. Yeah, very proud to sponsor that formula. Well, we have done for years now. I'm trying to yeah. remember how many years. Absolutely brilliant. It was really good. It's gone down a bit, so we've got movement. We never had that. We've tried no, that was, so many it times. it was proper, proper stuck, wasn't it? It wasn't going anywhere. Now, I read a comment. Mm. Um, this was on Facebook where I posted a little short or reel or whatever they call them. Bloody hell, it was something different. Um, someone suggested coiling some rope into okay. the bore. Right. Turning the engine over so it compresses up. Yes. And pushes from underneath. Now that actually makes sense to me. I'm going to try this. Okay. Uh, I don't know how much I can get in there. I don't want to do it too hard in case um, I bend anything, but we're kind of <laughs> desperate now, aren't we? Yeah. Otherwise, the head off. I mean, I know it's easy to take the head off, and everyone said all that, but we're trying to do this. Um, Will it start as if it's, you know, minimal disruption to how it was actually found, basically. Um, I don't know if that's much in there or not. Yeah, that's kind of um, locked up on the bottom of it there. Right. So I probably can't get that out. Oh, I can, but excuse me, please. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> that's a little bit... Too thick, is it? No, it's just that it, it was locked up. I didn't want to push it any harder. I'll try it once more, but it's a bit worrying when it sort of... You think about it, it's pushing the piston up against the bottom of that. Right. So, obviously, it's nipping it right tight. Okay. And if it's not going to budge, then something's got to give. And right. I don't really want to get the rope jammed in there. Okay. Uh, um, I'll give it one more try. Such a shame, because, like, we've got seven of them free. <laughs> You saw the rope move, didn't you? Yeah. But no, it's locked up there. Um, to force that wouldn't work. No. Okay. I'm not sure if the car would give first or me, to be honest. <laughs> now, now we're in a bit of a dilemma. Because we kind of need to unwind the engine now. <laughs> that's a bit of a problem. This is my fear that I told you. Yeah. So now that's stuck in there. Oh, dear. Yeah, so that may be in there whilst we're doing all this. We'll leave it for now. Okay. If I can't get that up now, that is definitely head off. Okay. So it's certainly worth a try. Yep. But um, sadly, in this case, everything's just a little bit too stuck. All right, I've made a decision. Okay. But first of all, this is really, really annoying, Claire. Okay. Because, not this, no, I enjoy this. Oh. Because this is YouTube... Yeah. I have to switch the radio off when I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> and they were playing Stan Ridgway's camouflage and that brought back a lot of youthful <laughs> memories for me. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, the piston's at the bottom at the moment. Right. I don't want to keep trying to force this. It ain't going anywhere at the moment. Um, I'm going to fill the bore up with ATF. Right. Squirt loads up the top again. And then I'm going to try and move the piston on the starting hand. I got the rope out, by the way. People will notice that. I just... Yeah. Um, Got a lucky tug in the end, giggity. Um, and I'll push it so that the ATF is at least, I don't know how much will seep past the piston, but at least touching the bottom of that um, valve stem thingy until, um, and we'll leave it till the morning. Okay. See what happens. So I'm sorry, you're gonna have to come back. Yeah.
Many unbearable hours later. What was all that shouting about? I guess you've got somewhere. Sure have. Go on then, show you me. You don't often see me smile, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Not lately, no, oh, I must God. admit. Right, watch. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah? Yep. They're all moving! Yay! And, as you know, this one was an absolute pig. It fought all the way to the end, so... It did. Do you want to ask me how I did it? How did you do it, Elton? What wizardry did you use? <laughs> I had a great hammer and a lever. And a lot of... That's not miss out the diesel and ATF mix, which and obviously... And some penetrant. And some and penetrant fluid. Once I got it a little bit loose, I just kept doing it, doing it. Just pig-headed stubbornness, because at some point we may have to take this head off and do this engine properly. I don't know. But I've ordered head gasket set. Right. Valve spring compressor. I've got all the bits because I actually looked at um, a video of someone doing it. It looks quite fun. Okay. Um, but we want to try and get it started as it is, don't we? We do. So yeah, we'll give that a go. I, I don't know if it's compression. We'll do that afterwards. I'll clear out the bores now because I've got all gunk in them all. Okay. Put the plugs back in because they're just temporary plugs in there. Put the rocker cover back on. Yeah. And we'll give it a go. Why not? We don't know what's going to go on yet, do we? Probably nothing, dear. You know our luck. Everything will blow up now, ready? No. <laughs> that sounded like there was a little bit of a fire there. Yeah, it did. Ready? Let's do it as I'm doing it. One sec, don't want to overdo it. That fired, didn't it? Yeah. It's fired a couple of times, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's trying, bless her. Um, that there. I only want like a five second run. I know. Oh, come on, PPW. Oh. <laughs> Sounded like a cheeky cheeky bang bang. Eh? It did. Second and a half in. Oh, Does well. that count as running? <laughs> Go on! Go on! Yes! 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 Look at the. <laughs> 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 I just took the chart. I didn't want to run it too long, Claire. Oh, okay. Oh, my word. Shall we have another go? Tenth fate? 
Go on then. I want everyone to know, genuinely, it's the first <laughs> time I've ever done that in my life. I'm 52 years old. I've tinkered with cars all my life, but never bothered with stuff that's this kind of past it in most people's uh, eyes. So let's have another quick go, Claire, because that, okay. that was exciting. I put it the ignition on. Pull the choke out. <sighs> um, ignition on. I'm getting all like all nervous. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Oh, let's try one more time. So what did I do? I had a bit of, it was accelerator, wasn't it? Oh. That sounds nice. <laughs> Excuse me. I need to show me mates as well. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds all right now. Yeah. Take it for a spin, look. I don't no. think we've got any clutch or brakes, have we, at this Listen point? Listen to that. I just want to try and get it up to temperature because that should free things up as it's already done, you see. Yeah, absolutely. 52 years. I know. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe it. You keep filming. I just don't want it to overheat. I need to go through all the um, coolant system. Because that, that water's cold in there. Okay. Um, the pipes are actually <laughs> like solid, so I can't. Normally you'd squeeze them and feel if yeah. there's air or water in there, but um, they're a bit brittle. Um, well, that one's got water in. I do know it's leaking water from somewhere at the pump, I think. Because it usually leaves me a little message in the workshop. <laughs> but that's absolutely made my year. Yeah, that's Genuinely. been fantastic, hasn't I've had, it? We've had our ups and downs this year. This has been the start of the YouTube journey for you and I, hasn't it? And there have been times when it's like, do we press on, don't we? And this car and all the people that have followed it yeah. have made me push on. I've, I was out here last night in the freezing cold, um, literally ice on all the cars out here, um, just trying to get things going, getting that last valve freed up. And obviously when you're doing it, you don't realize, well you do, but you think, am I just, you know, wasting my time here? And then something like this happens and it's like, it's all worthwhile. It, I think yeah. we owe a massive thank you to all the viewers and yeah. for all their comments. Absolutely. I mean, we wouldn't have done it without you guys. We no, really no. wouldn't have done it. We've, we've had motivation from all around the world. New Zealand, we've got yeah. loads of guys from New Zealand. <laughs> well into this. Yeah, all, all over, over the world. Um, but certain people as well who've been in touch by phone and that and you know who you are. Um, thank you and yeah, the emails. Um, don't want to get too emotional. It's just a car at the end of the day, Claire. But <laughs> it's been brilliant, though, isn't it? To us, you know, we've we've both enjoyed this one, and you've helped as well. So it's been a a real real achievement. So well done, us. Well done. And the next thing is, well, what do we do next? Do I? Well, I've got to try and put it in gear at some point and try and see yeah, if I clutch think and all so, that works. Don't you? But that could be the next challenge. Yeah. Um, We've now got a car that will start. Do I still take the head off and do all those bits and pieces? You let me know. You won't see another video until next year because it's nearly the middle of December now. Yeah. So that'll give me a bit of time to freeze in the workshop doing some bits and pieces. But yeah, let us know what you want to do next with this car. We've been guided by you. I dare say we'll be guided again because we're like that. Indeed. Cheers. Take care, everyone. Thanks ever so much for watching. And if you can share this one, pl please, please, please do, because you've, that's really helped us out. Bye for now. Fancy coming for lunch, dear? Oh, yes, please, yeah. <laughs> on the button. She's absolutely on the button. <laughs>
I haven't got the uh, courage to put her in gear yet because you're standing in front of me and there's a workshop behind yes, you. Yes, yeah. But, um, that's Let's when... quit while we're ahead. 